Welcome everyone to an arena video. I'm Andromen Gucci and this video is sponsored to you by Wizards of the Coast and ChannelFireball.com. Is there a good versus cat? Uh, because you have to activate in your turn. Hostage take, sorry, Tide Taker makes even activate ability cost one more. Like Fable Passage and like stuff like that. Yeah, Oven, uh, Goose, everything. I mean, it's not that good to just use it in your turn instead of your opponent's turn. This is one of the cards that maybe it's good, but if your opponent plays correctly, maybe it isn't. Alright. Opponent revealed the Sphinx. Only one. There's like the glitch where it shows two, but it's only one. And in their upkeep, it just become two again. Sorry, one again. Have you tried any fire trail decks? I, I did not. Hazraman in Bologna. Uh, it was it was good. It was good. A uh, lot of people. I had fun. I eat very good food. Very very good food. On on Saturday we went to this like trattoria of a friend of mine, and that was like incredibly good. We paid only twenty five euros. We did very well. The service was fast. I was very very good impressed. All right, so. I think I'm going to be playing a part of the drip first, and then next time I can go Mahim Devil Kaiser from there, which means if they draw Clarion, it's just game over. That's what it is, I think. Sets deck. Did you did you post it, Sets? Alright, let's see. Let's take a look at Sets. I mean, that Reaper, wow. That, that's a savior. That's a savior here. So I'll put Mean that Reaper. And I, was, I think I'm also going to be playing Kaiser from there. Actually, I'm very happy about it because if it sweeps me, I'd love to trade this for a, a card. Are right, you're playing Ors of Mid Range? Eh. I think that the the main reason to play Witches of and Familiar is not necessarily the combo between the two the, the two cards, but more like the Trail of Crumbs things. So playing Cat Oven without Trail of Crumbs is is the thing that never really got me. Okay, I can't sack this to attack for one. I think it's I think it's valuable. I draw so bad off the off of the Reaper, it's insane. Or Corval though. Okay, that's a good one. Why don't we play Mahim Devil and Kill the Goose and attack for one? That I hope is pretty uh, yeah. Unfortunately, unfortunately, trying things as a big cost set. A lot, a, lot, a lot of people don't understand that trying it's not as free, and it's not as free as my thing. Time, whenever like I have a deadline on Wednesday, it's it definitely comes to the cost. Especially a deck like this. This deck requires so many hours of testing, so many hours. This deck is very, very hard. Definitely not games like this where we just draw basically nothing, and the only thing that you have to do is just is just tapping mana and cast your cards or like some games. I'm gonna suck the cauldron here because I can't reanimate it this turn. I can't even reanimate now to just draw an extra card with a Corvold. Although if they play, ooh, that's a good one. You wanna play Oven? Hmm. I think so. I will. Oven is just insane with Corvold. And now I even still double trigger. Corvo's such a powerful card. Uh, I think I'm going to make this, the following play of sacrificing the goose to make a food, and now I'll be ready to reanimate the, the Cudger Familiar EOT. Just casually drawing me four cards this turn. Alright, I play Solar Blades, so they want to kill my two permanents here. I think I'm going for the Cudger Familiar. Because this will ping my opponent for two, for one. And I'll draw a card. Alternatively, I can just end of turn reanimate the card you're familiar. And then attack for one. It's gonna be the same, but with the difference that I draw a card with Corbold. Right? Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to use it now in response to the Solar Blades. So it'll be surprisingly super good. I don't think there was another card I could have won my opponent so that could have killed the Corbold here. Nessa Melman with a raid! Thank you, Nessa. I'm gonna. I think it's just very low for some reason. Sorry if you didn't hear it. Welcome, welcome everybody. From NASA streamer playing some Jund Corvold. Corvold is a very powerful card. As you can see, I have like 
I've drawn, I don't know, 20 cards in this game. Opponent opponent has 8 cards less than us in the deck because we drew so much. Raid time indeed. Have a good stream. Thank you, Nessa. Have a good night, I assume. That you are going to sleep. That's just the time. Time zones. I guess many people from here are from USA. So for me, it's morning. The sun is shining outside of Mango's room while I'm in the inside playing a video game. Is this a video game or just a card game? I guess you can call it a video game, right? Okay, I'll pass here. And I'm going to reanimate this using Trail of Crimes. Good morning. You only hear a voice, not the game. Yeah. All right, Cavalier of Flame. And that's the bad thing of that deck. That deck is just... It's just... I don't know. Like, this card is obviously not playable. You should pay five mana for it. A video game. Yeah, indeed. That's a mail mail with a 19 number next to your name. Oh, if you go to TwitchCon, they give you they give you the number. That's sweet. I hope one day I can go to the TwitchCon as well. It's on Wednesday. It's on Wednesday. Quite quickly. On Wednesday, I need to submit my deck. It's probably going to be a... I don't know, Jump Cuts or Fires deck. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to... Use the trail of crumbs thing. I guess I can wait. Yeah, I, I'm gonna wait here. I put on five. Maybe, maybe actually I should do this now. Let me think. So Masako Girl can kill the Cavalier. I'll do it or take a one. I just gonna take my turn here. Martyrs Rider. Oh, now I regret. Now I regret big time because I could have won the game. Had I reanimated this, point would have been on four. I could have killed this attack and I won. Instead, I decided to just wait to use the trail of crumbs in my turn. But I think it's not a big deal. I think I'm still gonna be. Easily winning this game. Uh, all right, let's do the following play of reanimate the cultural familiar and uh, using the trail of crumbs. I'm not even sure what I'm looking for. I guess witches open is a good find. All right, is my opponent dead now? Because I can't take them down to two. Yes, now not now my opponent is dead. So we go murderous raider, kill the cavalier of flame. Cavalier of flame does basically nothing. This card is in a very strange design. I think this card should have dealt damage to creature instead of just two players. But yeah, anyway, we're going to uh, attack for two to go to two life, and then I reanimate. I I I, I cast I cast the witches open. I sack the cow the the the, the card from the two times and right there for two times. Mono blue flash. Oh. Looks great in fire indeed, but when they printed it, I'm pretty sure they did not think about fires. I think they print fires afterwards. Fire invasion, very cool cards. All right, so what am I playing against? Just guy fires. I drew very well this game. I guess if it wasn't for Minion Reaper, I would have lost this game easily. Instead, I drew this card and I was able to win. All right, bad cards are Massacre Girl. Vraska is also pretty bad. I dislike Paradise Druid. Uh, what else do we all don't, don't like? Probably nothing. I like it all. Mahim Devil is not great either. Vraska can kill Prison Real Man Spyglass. Some people play those. Maybe I can throw them on Devil. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I've reduced. I have to reduce from Esper. No. I'm actually off Esper. It was a good run, but I think it's over now. My love with Esper is finished. Nessa, you're still in the chat. Do you like uh, Nisa decks? Are you trying Nisa decks? Because I'm pretty sure you love Nisa decks. Mm hmm. Wondering Once is a magic card, by the way. If you're wondering, if you're wondering, Wondering One is it's 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 a cool card. I think it's from uh, Kamigawa. It's better. Wondering One MTG. Picture is very nice. It's just it's basically like legs. That's it. Those are the Wondering Ones. Only legs, legs and arms. That's the picture. You're a big guy about the PT. Nice. Thanks again for your hard work. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, geez. Layer 56. Hope you're having a good night. And it's actually very late for you, isn't it? Because usually people watch me are from the uh, West Coast, but you're, you're you're from the East Coast, if I, if I remember correctly. I don't play control deck anymore. No, I do not do. Banding Kamigawa block, popper tiny leaders. Mm. Alright, let's go and play Overgrown Tomb 
and Gilligan's. Fires in the red black. Okay. Alright, so what do we want to do? I'm pretty sure I want to play Minion Reaper turn two. It's not great or anything, but it started beating, it started beating down, and uh, it also makes sure that if my opponent has, I don't know, a, draws a stomp, I draw a card out of it. Is it pruning this stomp? What does that mean, Suda? I'm not very familiar with strange words, and that. Seems to me one of them. All right, so I'm gonna just be playing a trashy B and pass. I could have made a food to set up the Corvold. That's also what I could have made. Yeah, which is layer. Yeah, at the at the GP arrangement, I always get game loss when I when 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 I play the GP that has the PT because I I'm I'm over there watching watching my friends compete at the PT and I always like arrive late. I think I got game lost. All right, so let's play my Him Devil. Let's uh, probably just want to hold on this for the Corvold. I, I I need to kill the the fires, so I just do this and ping my point of one. I'm not sure if playing fires into Branton was good. Maybe they have another fires. Yeah, the card thoughts is yes, I do like the card thoughts is a lot. I'm playing four copies in my legacy deck. What do you think about the Brand Six ban? I think it's fine if they don't want to ban anything else. Brand Six was was an okay the card to ban. If they want to keep the format as it was pre pre brand, you don't like the card thoughts is. The card thoughts is a good card. This just spell are, are very healthy, I think. All right, that's things. They scry to whatever. I don't really pay attention to scry. I, sh I should play more attention to scries though. All right, I don't want to play Corvold into open mana. I'm just gonna play random things and pass the turn. I guess you play a looter scooter. If you follow me on Twitter or on Instagram, you can see my deck list. I play Soul Tide Elver. Soul Tide Elver. With a very often I board into I sideboard into like Soul Tide Mid Range. My deck is uh it's very changeable. Soul Tide is like very ready to to you know to play the control game as well as the tempo game. It's a it's a very, very, very cool deck to play. I really like it. Modern John deck. No, I'm not. Alright, I think four. I'm down to nine life already. Although I have some foods. The funny thing about against this deck is that you somehow just 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 win just can like win races because you have all this food laying over. Alright, I put two on top. I should have a land drop to make. Mm-hmm. Alright, you don't want to crack the food because next this turn I'm gonna go Corvold here. Which is open. That's a good find. All right, guys. Let's let's start. Let's start going off, shall we? Okay. So I'll play Corvold. Oh, Yafo, die. Let's play Corvold. I'll ping. How many cards? How many? How much damage can I deal? I think I think I can ping this down. All right. So let's ping this things with the foresight. Trigger. I'll suck the cultural familiar. I'll ping the Stings of the Foresight, draw a card. I have to make a land drop still. All right, so I'll crack Fable Passage. I'm gonna get Forest. I'll ping the Stings of the Foresight, draw a card. Put a counter on a Corvold. All right, that's that's my land drop. I'm gonna make a Forest. Now I get Witches Open Down. I'll I'll play, I'll, I'll play Cadre Familiar. I don't know how much damage can I deal, but this is a lot of damage. I'm not gonna make a land drop until, because I could draw another Fable Passage. All right, so I can. Suck this. Ping the Cavalier of the Gills, draw a card. Then I can reanimate the, the, the Cadre Familiar. Ping this, draw a card. Uh, what can I set? Okay, I'm gonna be playing Witch's Oven. Then I will suck this. Ping the Cavalier, draw a card. It's a lot of, lot of like triggers going on there. I think this is just a lot of fun, honestly. All right, the Cavalier of Gills is still one damage short of doing things. So what is the best that we can do here? I think I have it. I think I have it. Actually, I, I have. I've made my land drop already. Sorry, I, th I thought I didn't. Let, I, did, I thought I didn't. Does it be real, Joey? I mean, I mean, on paper, it's, it's fine. So what else can we do here? 
What else can we do here? Uh, I don't want to tap this because I want to chump block. I guess this flies, but like, psst, I could just fairy bounce this. Uh, do I have any ways to do something? I guess I should have not pinged this. I should have pinged my opponent three times. Although, I could have just drawn a, another Oven and then I could have made mana and cast the Oven. That would have been on my last one. Alright, since I, there's no way for me to do anything, I think I'm gonna pass here. I guess I can attack with Raheem Devil. Maybe I don't mind the trade. Actually, I think I do mind the trade. I'm gonna pass here. Six of the Foresight is pretty solid in, in make you find uh, in, in let you find Fires of Invasion. Corvold is amazing. In one turn, he drew six cards. We drew six cards out of, out of Corvold. Our right, Solar Blades. Uh, so they want to kill everything but the, the Gweezes. I could re the Cadre Familiar and draw a card. Or I can end of turn play it and attack. I think as I did earlier, I'd rather. Mm, I'd rather. Probably not, right? Yeah. Alright, that's fine. Okay, everything dies. I mean, not everything, just, just those two dies. For Drums, Drum and Secrets is not a good card. Sorry, not Drum and Secrets. Down in the the, the, the Dig Through Time for 4 Mine is not a good card. You just don't have time to just take off turn 4, I think. Shimmer Possibility is fine because you played on turn 2, but Drown in whatever it's called, I don't remember right now, but like the 4 Mine Dig Through Time is just not good. It's way more. Yeah. Mm. Do I want to play this now and just attack, or do I want to wait for the Trill of Crumbs? Probably gonna wait. Yeah, I'm probably gonna wait. I don't know for what, but probably gonna wait. All right, so let's play Mina Reaper. Let's play Trill of Crumbs. Let's play Kajro Familiar. Use that thing. Get Swamp. Then I'll play a Swamp and pass the turn. Yeah. She best modern decks. I don't have an answer. Um, it's sweet when it's follow up to fires to do. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Going fires into Spain is a very powerful play. Alright, I'll let fires resolve, and then what else? Do they have a Clarion? If they have a Clarion, I'm fine with that. Because you just draw four to five to six cards this turn. Yeah, if you don't get fires, that deck is just not very, very appealing. Alright, so they, all they do is just casting fires into Cavalier. We're, we're fine, we have another Trash TV. One of turn one, I just drain them, draw cards, and activate this two times. So we're gonna definitely refill our hand. Wow, single solar blades. So this is a good answer to Corvold. Is that Justice Strike basically? People used to play Justice Strike. All right. Uh, okay. So let's do this. This is a lot of triggers going on right now. Health, thankfully, thankfully, Arena helps this helps this a lot. Opponents is Nef Six. Please just just do that because they can't cast any spell right now. So we're gonna reanimate the Cadre Familiar. Come on, opponent. All right. Use the Trill of Crumbs. Like, it might seem like this deck is boring to do, but doing all these things is actually very hard. Very, very hard. Like, knowing exactly what to do, and knowing, like, I feel that I make so many mistakes with this deck. It's not that there are mistakes, there might lines that I like, could have been better lines if I did something different. Alright, and I don't think I want to use the Goose uh, just to do more Slater Man with the Trail of Crumbs. I think I'm fine like this. I'm not really looking for much more. I, I guess that Core Vault would be amazing. And I'm not. I'm gonna say Decline because I think this food is more valuable than just uh, Slater Hand right now. Because you need some food to start a chains and etc. All right, uh, so they have a six five, which is actually pretty annoying. I think I'm gonna go Martyrus Raider, Brontodon attack. Yes, assists. These two decks that were square enough are the top are the are the top two contenders, I believe. Cavalier Flame is always doing nothing. Gonna be playing a uh, Threshing Brunt on Kill the Fires. Remember, True of Crumbs only work when you sacrifice a food. It's not like Mahim Devil or stuff like that. Alright, I concede. Good game.
Corvus went to Europe? Yeah, for sure, yeah. Although I don't know what's my next uh, paper standard event. Uh, I don't really know. Alright, we got a lot of things. We even got two balls here. Where do we put these two balls? Ooh, a rankle art. That's sweet. We got a rankle. Very cool. And we start the blue colors now. In the witching well. Modern staple. Or pauper staple as well. And we got 20 gems probably. Actually, I want to open the Royal Science. Because I still don't have any Royal Science or somehow. I just have every rare and like everything. No Royal Science. Uh, sacrifice and, and fire are the best decks. Cindervines is a good Um, Brontodont is a blocker against some aggressive decks. Cindervines, it's only good against uh, Team Reclamation. Oh, Capopio. This is a guy that comes in my chat. Sometimes. Alright, skip six. Mm, probably gonna get rid of Blood Crypt because I already have. I don't think double red in this deck. Flash deck. Flash deck is good, although sometimes it's like pretty bad against the edge wing keeper, and that card is still played. Alright, a godless shrine on the other side. They could, they could be Esper. I'm gonna make my play of like Trail Crabs and the turn activate the Goose. How do fires win? I mean, if you go fires into things and the cat deck is might just... If fires deck has the nuts, the, the cat deck loses. The problem is that fires deck doesn't always have nuts. I can kill the goose here over Cadre Familiar. If I had an oven, Cadre Familiar would be better. Alright, I'm gonna make mana. But I will, I will pay black. I have a control just in case. I'm gonna resolve and pay black. And I'm gonna get more geese. Because if this was a green land, I could have taken the green land. But since it's a black red land, I don't want it. I'm gonna give the goose mountain. Oh, that's the one. And I cast a. Uh, a part of dread. Is this Sandoish deck? Uh, Sidzera. Now this is... I mean, the main idea came from Sandoish. Oh wow, it killed Trail of Crumbs. And now we're just left with nothing. Wow. This deck is... Uh, this exact like 75. I mean, maybe like, this deck exact like 72 are from... Uh, uh, Yama Killer. Alright, if they go... If they go for uh, Kaya's Wrath, that's fine. I'm gonna puck it up. Puck it up and get ready to lose. Oh, Mahim Devil, that's a strong one. Mahim Devil can deal a lot of damage now. I'm gonna be playing the Gila Goose as well. My opponent doesn't have a Wrath, or they could have played it last turn. Uh, Neo Demon, I don't have an experience with them. I don't have any experience with any of the two decks. So I don't want to, uh, you know, say much about it. Um,. I think I'm gonna make the following play of uh, just sacrificing these two. I think so. That would just deal damage. I think at this point of the game, I wanna deal a lot of damage. So I'm gonna suck this for mana, ping my opponent for one. Resolve. Then I'm gonna suck this for mana, ping my opponent for one. And then I'm going to Sacrifice the Mahim Devil for the Oven, so the Mother's Raider triggers, sorry, fizzles, and then I ping them for one. And that's it. I can't suck this for gain three life, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think that's reasonable. No, you know what, whatever, I don't really care about the two life, I just want to do my opponent two damage. God, it's a little Ketra, wow. Alright, more Mahim Devil. Uh, and then I'll pass. Maybe I want to make a food with this first. And then I'll pass. Yeah. Basically, I want to burn my opponent out. Oh, Cavalier of Night. So they're gonna kill my Heme Devil. My opponent's playing a crazy deck. Cavalier of Night is gonna get rid of my Heme Devil. Pay my opponent for one. Alright, now what else? Um, mm -mm. 
I can make the same place I did earlier, probably, right? Where I just suck this for mana, ping my opponent for one. Then I'm going to suck this for mana, ping my opponent for one. Then I'll suck the Mahim Devil. Peeking my opponent for one and gain three life. This time I'm gonna gain three life because my opponent can actually just beat me down here. Alright. So I'll turn to one, I think six damage because this is a double strike. Mental me step, that's fine, but it could also just play the two three and then just gain life or uh in later, you know? What is on seven? I want to draw Corvold here. Corvold would be amazing. Soaring to give the point to give this creature life link. All right, that's, that's gonna be a good game. That's gonna be a good game. I'm gonna gain ten life when the game ends. All right, good job. Black white mid range beating our uh, ten mana sources John deck. Um, I want carrots more probably. I want duress. Maybe not actually. Yeah, I'm gonna submit this probably. Yeah, this is fine. I have Brandon on because they might have laid on the void, but I do a Coyotes of War for that. I don't fail passage uh, in fires. I mean, it's very strong. You play four, right? And it's not good. It's, it's not that. It's that Massacre Girl is usually good against creature decks. Yeah. I'm not a fan of this mana base. This mana base is playing one more, one less grain source for some reason. This is like a so I have grain source. Probably 16 grain sources. 16 resources aren't enough. That's a ley line. Ley is still going to be good against sorry, bad against Mahim Devil. It's but it's very good against uh Mina Reaper though. Oh, I guess swamp. And I'll play Witch's Oven. I just hope to be down with three threes, I guess. I mean, if you don't have the copies, the Fable Passages, it's fine. You can play other lands, but Fable Passage is very good in uh, the decks where it's very good. All right. Mortify. Yeah, I get food. One damage. I want to hit land drops to be able to play Kajar's as a at some point in the game. Or just more 3-3s, three I guess. A bottom one with the scry, I just <laughs> draw the other one. Four Mahim Devil on the top, very few cards. Alright, Charming Prince, wow. I guess they're playing the Ken the 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 the, the, the Yarok Fan Lurker Blue Girl Rod deck. They must, in order to play that card. It's the only reason. All right. Uh, I'll play Mahim Devil and which a Kadra Familiar Drainer for one. I can also suck it to the oven to kill the Charming Prince, but I don't want to exile this because definitely aligned, so this would get exiled. Uh, so I'm not going to suck anything here. I'll just attack with my two three threes and uh, play land and pass the turn. Chump block, that's fine by me. I can also suck the food to gain three life to ping my opponent for two. Or dropping a Charming Prince for two, but I just don't necessarily need to do that now. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna gain three life. And then I'm gonna suck a Kajra from here, because it's gonna it's gonna exa get exiled regardless here. So might as well just deal them uh, two damage. And I'm gonna also suck the Fable Passage. To deal them two damage. And I'm gonna also suck the food to deal them two damage. Alright, so players on four, but we have nothing going on, unfortunately. This lay on the void is very annoying. I just wanna draw a creature to attack them. Or castle. I don't plan on casting Kajoides of War now. I'm just gonna draw a card off of castle, hopefully, drawing a creature. It's not great with Leyline in play. Alright, Guardian, okay, try. Uh, I think it's time to play Kajoides of War. 
just because I don't want my, I, I don't want, just because, all right, I'm going to kill the Castle Ardenville. Castle Locked when it's fine, I'm playing zone four. Just because I don't want to play Mina Reaper and let my opponent kill it, and I don't uh, use, uh, I don't, don't draw a card off of it. Let's see, down to Paul, come on, yeah. Not expect that. I still think you have to play land with this deck. Alright, that's a good one. So let's play Trail of Crumbs. Let's crack the food. Uh, see the top two cards. Hopefully find a creature. I could play cat, so. Get a land pass. <sighs> Rankle. That's fine. They have a, they have, they have a, a God of Snow catcher on top of the deck. I'm gonna not do nothing with Rankle. Rankle is very underwhelming, in my opinion. Yep. I'm gonna block the part, of the the, the Bazika Bellount, and uh, and suck it to the open so I can gain three life. And look at the top two cards of my deck. I don't know what I'm looking for. Put this on seven. Maybe Corvold could do something good. Oh wow, I made a mistake. I should have let the rank or resolve. Oh, fuck, I don't have mine up. Oh my wow, that was very bad. I'm very sorry guys for that mistake. I could have had um the food I, I, for some reason I thought I had one mana spare. Anyway, um but to suck the cultural familiar, trigger the trail of crumbs. Then I even have the castle lock twin later. But this is just less mana intensive, so I'm going to do this first. We have Vraska. She doesn't do incredibly wonders because everything here is larger than it. I can just suck a land though. Hmm. Or I can draw. I, I think I'm going to suck a land. Because I want to keep the... Hmm. How do I want to tap here? Alright, I think I have it. I'll tap like this. I'm going to sacrifice a land, I believe, because I want to keep the Fadra from military champ block. Hello, healthy Max. Alright, Drew Witch is open, which I'm going to cast. And I guess I'm going to pass the turn here. It'll have uh, champ block, and then uh, we're going to stack, I'll suck it to the open. Yeah, gods are... The problem with gods, I've always believed the problem with gods were that they didn't have a good ATB effect when they came into play. So they don't want me to champ block, so they'll uh, they'll do this. They just send fizzles. They can attack Vraska with a god and attack me for six. I'm still very healthy left over because I gained like six life off of the. If I'm both on five, they're gonna go on four this turn. I guess I could have champ blocked now. Ah, no, 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 I don't want to because if I champ block, then I lose the food uh, to start the chain. I need to draw a creature, so this is very good. Alright, each player loses a card, loses a life and draws one card. Alright, sure. I draw one Mina Reaper. Hmm. Cast a lock to and your Rocks Fan Lurker. Oh, the combo. Okay, uh, before I discard a card, I'm going to use the, um, the Trill of Crumbs. So I can decide better what to do. If I draw a land, I'll just discard a land. Oh, Corvold, nice. What is on four? Alright, now I get Corvold, discard Mina Reaper. Well, I'm not even sure how Corvold, how good is Corvold going to be? Very good for sure, but like, maybe it's too late? I don't know, we'll see. It's very important that they don't play another Paul Caputana. Play another Yorafra Lurker. If I done this end of turn, that would have been better. Alright, Murderous Rider. Is my opponent dead on board? They're not. Alright, we need to we need to find another Witches Open or another card or familiar. It is quite likely though, because I see the top four cards. If we win this game, it's definitely thanks to like the lot of damage that we dealt in already damage. And there it is. Wow, that's that uh, sweet. We won this game. If you look at this board and be like, who would win this game? You definitely don't think that the deck with a bunch of 1-1s one and, and commons and uncommons would have won, but it, it did happen. Alright, good game. Alright, good game for sure. But if you remember early game, we had doubled Bahim Devil, which has done so much damage. That sure, even if the late game opponent swept our board and everything, we still dealt so much early damage that we got to win this. So very important that you kind of act like a burn deck with this deck. 
with the Mahim Devil aspect of the game. Alright, Master Girl, I think it's pretty solid. I'm gonna bring her back. Uh, Varaska does not seem very good. It's still okay because I'm playing against a control deck. I think I'm gonna cut them part as Druids in this matchup. I still don't want the rest. My opponent doesn't seem like they play a lot of. Actually, I can have one Trashy B because they played Leyland of the Void, which was actually very strong in the early game because we could have. Dress. I don't like dress. Opponents to many creatures. The opponent plays like the Yara for Lurker, Bugler, Rat, Charm, and Prince deck. Would you cut Drawn for Dreams entirely from Fires? Maybe you can play one, but honestly, I don't have that much experience. Show plays the deck a lot, so I would trust Show's deck building. Opponent deck is good. You, cool, you think, Steven? I don't agree. I think that Yara for Lurker, Bugler, Rat are not are not constructed playable cards. Alright, isn't this shy of a uh, open to do wonders? I'm still gonna keep it. Hopefully they don't go ley line. Let's play Fable Passage. I play four. Alright, I'll play a top lane. I guess I could have Fable Passage for a swamp, but you kinda wanna slow roll the Fable Passage. I could regret it if I don't draw a land, but I did, so. You actually get rewarded with this. Some people call this play greedy, but on the other hand, you used to play 24 lands, you just need to draw a land on turn three. By turn three to make it good. Also, black white has the problem that doesn't. I don't know. She's a like two, two colors mana base are surprisingly super bad. Two colors non green mana base are surprisingly super bad. So they just they, they just don't draw a color and lose. She was Arson now. Uh, does he know? Uh, well, yesterday I saw him playing fires. We lost show really. I didn't know that. All right, gonna, I'm gonna go to the bathroom again. I apologize for that. But still the deck, and I uh, just to just gonna get a quick pee, and uh, I'll be back in one minute. All right, we're back. We are back. <clears throat> yeah, next deck is coming out January. All right, John Darius cats more, more of this deck. This deck is, as you saw, pretty complicated. We need to know what's our plan, what to do in the right matchups. Dev Kibler, David Kibler, ten twenty four. Thank you for the sub. Welcome to the stream. You can play drill bait over duress in the sideboard. No, because sometimes you just want to duress their fires of invasion after they played Calarion. And uh costing three minus of the one minus out of three is a very big deal. You play drill bit in uh in the main deck usually. When I play drill bit is because it's an okay main deck card. When you board out Partners Druid, you ask me, against sweepers. I I dislike Partners Druid against sweepers. Uh uh uh. That line of DMC is on Wednesday. I'm gonna keep on playing uh, Magic though. I'm not gonna be stopping the stream. A lot of people don't stream anymore when there's the deadline for the PT, but it's not me. I I keep on I keep on streaming, just because at the end of the day for me streaming is is, is testing. To a lot of people go like I play way worse in, in, in streaming. Of course you do, of course you do, but it's still important testing. And uh, I'm a player that I'm a player that doesn't really play too much outside of. Uh, of streaming, like I do like to test and everything, but I have to test in person. So these uh, these, these arena PTs aren't really perfect for me because of uh, of the reason. Our opponents keeps on attacking with collision clauses. I think I keep blocking here. Like shutting off this one one makes the other trip is worse. And if they all they do is just cast collision clauses, I'm totally fine with this. These yeah, clauses play are pretty bad. I agree. All right, which is open. That's fine. Um, very tempted to go just uh, Gila Goose, which is open. So the next turn I can cast Mahim Devil and shoot down the one one, so the five five can't attack. And that turn I have the Cadre Familiar open thing. Yeah, well, when I was playing Guru, I was not playing this card. This card never really struck me as good. It was good when Drake was the deck, and a lot of people were playing Drake. I'm just gonna block. I played Simic Ramp. Uh, I, I, I did not do. I don't play that much Simic Ramp. Wow, again. It's unreal. Uh, I think I'll suck the Gila Goose now. I'll just take 5 damage on Trample because there's no more blocker. That's fine with me. It's pretty fine. I probably just only played Collegiate Colossus in this game. I play Mahim Devil. I'm I'm ready to to do crazy things here. 
another one. Do, 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 do. Another one is how basically any any Latin American song start, right? In Latino Americano, just so popular in Spain, it's incredible. In Italy, it's popular like in summer. In Spain, at any time, they always listen to Latino Americano. I'm pretty sure in the actual like Mexico, like Central America stuff, they will listen to that even more. That's all. Can you update, update the decklist XD? XD doesn't really work very well with your question, right? The Shadow Wolf. Your question is like a real question, right? XD at the end should just be something funny. I don't know. Like, mm, I don't know. I don't have funny things to say right now, but it doesn't seem like I'm proper user of any emoticon. You can have an updated decklist if, if you have a, a Carbo Live app. I guess you can ask me, Mango, why don't you have Carbo Live app? Because I ran the update a long time ago and never finished it. Now you can refresh the stream and have the Carbo Live um, thing that tells you that tells you that um, the decklist. All right, uh, put us attacking me. I'll, I'll I'll gladly take it. It's a smiley face. All right, then if it's a smiley face, it's okay. If it's a smiley face, it's okay. All right, we need to kill the things here. XD. All right, one damage. Oh, cowboy! I can't kill the Groove Spell Breaker. Oh wow, that was a, that was a wrong play. Actually, it was the wrong play. I don't think it was wrong. What what else could have done? That's nothing I could have done. All right, I should have just not fetched. That's what I should have done. I apologize. I forgot the Groove Spell Breaker. I was very busy in uh, seeing how one should use XDs. Oh, poor I need to bolt myself now. That's awful. I I for totally forgot about this. Okay, I'm not gonna do the Kajra Familiar anymore because I need to shock myself if I do that. Do I go four? I think so, yeah. Oh, I, I, sorry, I, I haven't played this turn well. I apologize. Do you have a Cyborg Guide, though? No, you can't because I don't have one. But if you want, I can throw one in and pretend it was it's it's the right one. Okay, uh, I'm on four life. I'm gonna go Vraskita. Shoot down the Guru Spell Breaker. Or maybe can I shoot it down in a different way? Kajra Familiar is one trigger. Then it's two and then it's three. Yeah, I think so actually. All right, let's, let's do this then. Let's suck this. We'll deal one damage to the crew spell breaker. All right, yeah. So that draw land and gain one life, which is relevant. Then I attack. Then I suck the oven to the cultural familiar, or cultural familiar to the oven. Then I do one damage to this. Then I reanimate the cultural familiar and deal one damage to the three three. I totally forgot that. When it's my opponent turn, you can't do the Kajra Familiar thing. And this way I also go on 6 life, which is like, out of like some, some burn range. Alright, it's so a 5-5 Defender. You know, I really don't like this card anymore. I really think this card is not good anymore. You may wonder, when was it good, Mango? I actually don't know when was it good. Probably never. Alright, let's play Corvold. I'll sacrifice uh, a land, I think. Doom Doom, I'll uh, can we, can we kill the little shark with this turn? That's one damage coming in, that's two damage, that's three damage, that's four damage. Probably not, also like who cares about the little shark beast, it's just, it's a 5-5 five, five defender. Uh, um, what do I want to do now? I want to suck something off the Vraska. What is it going to be? Is it going to be another land? Alright, I just sacrifice this. Literally for no reason. I guess I just wanted to draw a swamp to play Kajra from here from my hand, but it didn't. So I'll pass here. Defending with my 6-6. Six, six. You always have 1-1? One, one? No, you don't. So why do you put XD at the end again? Uh, Alright. I put it as a 1-1 one, one in play. Rectus Cleave doesn't look bad for an Angra deck. Yeah, sure. I got extra left in the matter. Yeah, I believe so. I believe so too. Okay, opponent is 2 1 1. After making fun of my opponent for not having 1 1s in the deck, now they play 2.
Yeah, the beat, the bearded mountain could have done that, or I can also just have draw removal spell from a Mahim Devil. I could have sucked it to the oven and then do like a, a, do like cool things. Whereas now I kind of just you know Augur spot, but it doesn't matter. I put a can't attack here. They have a five five and a six six, and they have a two one and a three three. So there's just no way they can do anything. So I just on top and like kill the whole board next turn. Modern Knights is the mythic rare. I don't know what that does. But the Dragon Andre's Emery Hange Adventure deck. I, I didn't try it. It's probably a cute deck. Good morning, Martian. It's probably dead. Exactly, it's probably dead. I mean, if I spent like the first three turns in casting Collision Colossus, that usually doesn't lead to victories. Powombo, hello. Hello to Wombo, good morning. I'm gonna kill my opponent with Corval here. There's like no way. I, I probably can deal them uh, 30 damage. How much damage do you think we can deal them? I think 30 damage is reasonable. 30, 3 0. I think 3 0 is reasonable. Maybe even 32. I'm just making, I'm just making up numbers, but it's probably fun to see how much damage you're gonna deal them this turn. But they can see it. When's the MC and when you need submit list? The MC is the eighth of December, and I need submit list uh, in two days. You might wonder. Sorry, the MC is the sixth of December. I need submit list in two days, which is exactly nine days before the actual event, which is. But that's what they're doing this year. Hopefully next year it changes. Or I guess gruel, gruel pump spells. The green addition is really worth it. Uh, yes, it is really worth it. Otherwise, your mana base is really a stinker. Red black mana base is just awful. Anytime red black cats draws blood crypt, the deck is okay. Whenever you don't draw blood crypt, the deck is like. <clears throat> All right. Um, what do we want? I guess we want love. The love. Low struck beast. I can board out Mina Reaper. Maybe one trail of crumbs. I think I'm gonna leave these five drops in my deck. Trashy Broton has to be good against Amber Cleave. The Cleave. What do we cut? This thing is actually very, very good against Agra. Heck, a Corvold? No, right? This guy is just too good. I don't wanna cut Massacre Girl. I think I got Murder Rider? Does that, that make any sense? All right, whatever. I don't know what to do. What's a good deck against Civic Flash? Uh, Adventure. Edgewilling Keeper is the best card against Civic Flash. Oh, you're losing? Mm, that's weird. Yeah, you should be better in drawing Edgewilling Keeper in your starting end. Then there's no way you can lose after you resolve that. All right, I'm up to six. I'm going to keep a hand without green mana, which is pretty bad. Yes, Alaj, but you play you play the the one two the the priest of the forgotten gods, which was pretty bad before when there was Bill of Summer, but now it's actually a pretty good engine. So it's kind of like the drill of crumbs off that deck. When people ask me why don't you play Agra decks, it's because you need to play Ragged Highlands to make to make up for the luck all once upon a time. And this land is just not a playable standard hand, standard land. Yeah, I just got a little shock beast here. I don't think the damage is relevant. Like, I'd rather shock myself to play 1-1, one, one. then I can cast this, and then attack, maybe I'd like two 1-1s. One, one. Good morning, Rigets. Good morning, Rigets. Thank you for the sub. Alright, I played Debald. Debald does damage to any target, so better not do anything here. I just play my Him Devil, or maybe I play Little Shrug Beast, actually. Because next time I was planning on casting Braska, killing the... Shady Ball doesn't do much. Yeah, I'm gonna play my Heme Devil, because next turn I can go Vraska. Suck the Cudger Familiar to the Vraska. Ping something, probably Tibalt. Is Simi Flash good? Yeah, Simi Flash is a good deck. How have you been? Uh, maybe fine. This weekend I went to Bologna to play Legacy and Vintage. Um, it's been a very good weekend. Being surrounded by friends, surrounded by my folk magic cards, so everything is great. Priest sucks for you? Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you go Priest turn 2, Chandra turn 3, it's like way better than Trail of Crumbs. Alright, Groove Spell Breaker. 
Ten thirty. I've got attack with all. I have to take it. There's no way I can block um anything here. Looks like I'm losing this game very con con convincingly. Play Vraska, kill the group spell breaker, and then I'll pass. I don't want to just throw away my board to kill a Tibalt here. And also can defend Vraska. If I'm gonna attack with both, I'm gonna block with both. I regret not having played this over the Mahim Devil. Because in theory I wanted to cast this and then play this and plus it. But in practice, the Red Cup Malid my 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 3-3 and she was a 5-5 it would have been just a brick one. Yeah, I gave Vraska if I do. I know I know that I killed Vraska if I do that, but I still I think I'm pretty happy making this trade. Alright. Attacking only with one actually makes more sense. Oh yeah, attacking with both is just gonna stop both both block both of them. Because this way, this things don't do as much damage as they could. So I think plays a lot of X1s. So if all they do is just ping in the planes, it's fine. Like the Vraska would have died regardless. So I'm happy that I trade with their creatures. Yeah. Oh wow, more to bald. I think I'm gonna go Vraska kill Tibalt here. Mahim Devil. That that could make a difference now. Because once again, I think playing Mahim Devil, play Kadra Familiar Pass, it's very good because next turn I can go Vraska, suck something, play with the plus, and then kill Tibalt. Again, if they were to come Malim, my, my Mahim Devil is annoying. Questing B. Hmm. Sure. If they attack with a token, I'll, I'll block with a Kadra Familiar. Can't double block because it can't be blocked by two power. Corvold. Uh, I think I'm going to just play a low shark beast now. Just to block the questing beast. I think opponent is flooded. Or at least doesn't have much in hand because they did nothing last turn. They must have drawn the questing beast this turn. Which deck do you like the most in new standard? Um, Aristocats and Fires are my two favorite decks. Jund. I think Jund is better. My Him Devil is a very powerful card. And also Corvold is performing very well so far. I was just a 5 drop, so if you can cast it, it's bad. I think I'm gonna trade my whole board here. I think, I think I'm fine. Like, I trade everything. I go to 6, but they have nothing. I'm pretty sure they have a landing end, and they just drew a spell breaker. So they probably just pass here, or play the land. Oh, not a 2 balls. That's what they had. Are you happy for Hong Kong or do you want to avoid politics? Am I happy for Hong Kong? How can I be happy? They're literally dying. Who can be happy for Hong Kong? I I, I can get into politics, it's no big deal. But just I don't I don't really know too much. I mean I know, but like Alright, whatever. Let's play Vraska and kill the Balt. The Vraska will die, everyone will be will be sad, but they have zero cards in there, and I think I can't deal with this two one one. This is actually, I did not. I did not see that. I put up three rugged islands that are winning. Yeah, that's, that's just exactly what's happening right now. That's exactly what's happening right now. Okay, I drew an overgrown tomb, but I don't really want to. I guess I can shock myself, go down to three, then play Corvold. Uh, am I dead on board if I play Corvold? I don't think I am. Freaking shock lands. I think I'm going to risk it here. Play Corporal, sacrifice a land. And then I just hope to do a creature to start this chain and get back in cards. Come on. We need to. Okay, part of this drew is perfect. Part of this is perfect. Yeah, we got a one. But then, like, again, life for the card from familiar. Of course, anything kills me. Anything kills me here. Alright, I got a one. The lava coil kills me, probably. I mean, don't kill me dead because I can gain some life, but still. Hmm. Oh, wow. Did I just recover here? Okay, let's go. Paradise Druid, which is open. Suck the open to the. Suck the, the Paradise Druid to the open, draw a card, put a counter on the Core Vault. Then I will reanimate the. This, draw a card, gain a life, put a counter. Mahim Devil is a good card. Alright, I'm on two life now, so I can survive. I'll just play a tap land here and I'll probably just attack. I basically just hope they, they break here, right? And I just kill them next turn. Because they go to 12 next turn, probably. I very likely just kill them next turn. Alright. Let's just let's just What do y'all think about this? Alright, I also do this thing. I, I forgot it triggers also when you attacks. I should have not played the land. That that was a big mistake. 
All right, let's hope I don't run on top land or be unhappy. Oh, okay, it's fine. All right, it goes 11, then I am very dead to everything. Cube is everything is lethal, but I kill them in this turn, so they have only one window to, 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 to top deck here. I know it's a risky win, I know it's a risky line, but if I don't attack here, I give them one more draw step. I, 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 other than that, there just there's no way they can get back in this game. All right. Good game. Like the thing is that I still I don't know whatever. I'll go like that break, but maybe if it was a PT, I would 